Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Joyce here with another video. I'm so pleased you're able to join me today. Sorry, I'm just adjusting myself. It's funny when you look at this and you see how you look like, you think, oh, maybe I should have done this a bit more, but never mind. here we are. Thank you for joining me. I'm here with another video and today's video has been inspired by a conversation again I had this week. Um, I think the world is always trying to tell you something and sometimes when you listen or you pay attention, it really is a teachable moment. So um, I was thinking back to the days when I was always being told that I cannot do something. Or So if I had a dream, for example, to, I don't know, um, bungee jump, that's a good one, I had for a long time. And all I heard was, it's very risky, you could lose your life, why would you want to do that? And I think people have the best intentions. Those are family, our friends, our loved ones, have the best intentions in terms of protecting us. But you know, no one can protect you from life, you know? And I think you are the only person that is able to categorically say, this is what I want to do and really pursue it regardless. Now, it's always good to listen to wisdom. I always say, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good to pay attention to what people are telling us. But I, I don't mean in a sense that it actually cripples your ability to follow your dreams. You must be persistent and you must go for your dreams regardless of what other people think or feel. And often, they, are, they, they don't always have the best intentions. I mean, when you think about it, you're never going to be protected for the rest of your life. And if you are protected, how are you ever going to live your life? You can't do it. You can't live your life if you are waiting for other people to give you permission to do it. You have got to define what your purpose is and go for it. Of course, it's going to be risk. Anything you do in this life has an element and level of risk. So... You can't say, well, I, I didn't want to do that because my parents told me or my partner told me or, you know, whatever it might be the case for you. Because often as well, sometimes we we make those excuses for us as a way of not pursuing our dreams um, because other people told us it's risky. It's comfortable for us to not pursue it because then, you know, oh, yeah, we've been told not to do it. We've been told it's not risky. But I really don't believe that's an excuse. Uh, and you shouldn't use that as an excuse. Yes, there'll always be people who will tell you, it's risky, don't do it, don't go for it. So and so, I remember I was a very good swimmer when I was young, you know, between the ages, possibly from the ages of 9 to 13, I was really, really extraordinary to a point where I was actually chosen as part of a school group to go and uh, compete. And all I heard, and my mom has the best intentions, was about this great swimmer who jumped into a pool, hit her head, got paralyzed, and spent the rest of her, I think it was two years or three years on life support, and never really made it. <clears throat> now, that was all I ever heard. And for me, for a while, it didn't bother me. But because I heard it so long, I actually started being afraid of the very thing that I started to enjoy. You can't do that. People have the best intentions, but if you have a passion and you're really talented in something, I mean, even if you're not talented, if you really have a passion for something um, and other people are telling you not to do it, don't listen. T listen, but follow your instinct. Because I think our instinct are probably the best things in terms of best thing or things, depending on how you look at it, um, to really help us channel the energy and, and our purpose in life. Um, and often we will surround ourselves with people who are afraid of the very thing that we're pursuing. Or they might have, like my mom, the best intentions. She didn't want to lose her daughter on a freak swimming accident. But that doesn't mean that I can't follow my dreams. And I should have been more persistent. But I gave up because obviously I was quite young. Um, my mom had, uh, I guess, the autonomy in terms of when I went swimming, how I went swimming, whether she was willing to take me or not. <clears throat> But I could have pursued it afterwards. Um, but I think that ex example alone became... <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's getting all funny. That example alone became a way of me not pursuing my dreams. I started to listen to a lot of people, not just my mom, but others around me that told me it couldn't be done. Or because they hadn't seen it done before, it was almost impossible for them. And often sometimes when people tell us not to follow a particular dream, it's because they're afraid of who we become. They're afraid of that change. They're afraid of losing that friendship, that partnership. 
um, whatever that might be, because it then means that you become a completely different person. And that will help, that will make them sort of think about how they're doing life, how they're, but whether they're pursuing their own dreams. And so you really have to be conscious about how you're pursuing the desires of your heart. And, you know, you cannot allow people's voices to drown your own passion. And often they will, because you're on your own, you're out on a ledge, you're almost on the wire by yourself trying to pursue this dream that, you know, you, you only have a slight vision about. And so if other people's noises become too loud, you will lose your footing. And so it's really, really important for you to protect that dream, to protect that vision, and to really follow your passion. It's a scary world, of course. We live in a place where people are always telling us what we cannot do. It's a very negative uh, environment. And so we have to almost surround ourselves with other people, other voices, whether that's through books. And, and I found a lot of comfort in biographies um, who, of people who have really gone against the grain and followed their passion. Uh, movies are a good place to really find your passion, uh, or sorry, to really find inspiration. Um, so books, movies, uh, places where those people hang out, you know. So if you want to, for example, go swimming, you really need to have joined a club, a swimming club, where people are passionate about that, where people are committed to that sort of goal. Um, and eventually we'll get there. Um, but it's really, really important that you do not allow other people to stop you from following your passion. It's so important because you were born for a purpose. There's a reason why you're here. Um, and you cannot allow where you're born into or the environment to really deter you from following your passion. And often it will because you're a unique individual, snowflake. You're very different. You're born for a purpose, which is, as they say, as unique as our fingerprints. And so we cannot look for others to, to mirror what we are feeling or what we want. We have to go out there. We've got to follow our passion. We've got to be committed. We've got to be single-minded and really go for it. And then eventually we'll start surrounding ourselves with people who are um, like us, people who actually have the same vision. Um, and I wish you all the best. So I'll stop it there because it's been too long. Um, have an amazing Saturday. I hope you, had a, you have a great weekend. Take care and God bless. See you at the next vlog. Bye.